Berlin. And this marks the beginning of our journey in Estonia. We are continuing our journey across the Gulf of Finland by taking the two-hour ferry ride from Helsinki to Tallinn. Tallinn, the capital of Estonia, is a historic city dating back from the medieval times. The medieval old town of Tallinn is remarkably well preserved and is even inscribed into UNESCO World Heritage list. Tallinn used to be known as Revel and it prospered as a Hanseatic trading city in the 14th century. Tallinn's history has since then been complicated. It has switched hands multiple times between its more powerful neighbors like Sweden, Russia, Germany, and Soviet Union. Okay, enough with some introduction, and in this video, we're going to tell some interesting tales about Tallinn, starting from the old town square here. We are now in front of the town hall, and the town hall is only open from July to August. Outside that period, we have to make appointment to enter the town hall. But anyway, I'm gonna tell you a small story about this town hall. So if you look up, you can see a, a statue called Old Thomas. Anyway, the story goes like this. In the old days, there is this old man called Thomas that likes to play with the kids and the kids love him. Uh, but people die, right? So when this Old Thomas die, the kids keep asking the parents, where is Old Thomas? Where is Old Thomas? And when can we play with him again? So these frustrated parents came to the city hall and said, Hey you, do something about it because our kids are asking about old Thomas every single day and it's annoying. So the city decided to build a statue there on the top. So when the kids ask the parents, where is old Thomas? Now the parents can say, he's there. So no more annoying questions. Problem solved. Actually, the Old Town Tallinn is divided into two main regions, Upper Town or the Tome region and the Lower Town. And in the old days, the Lower Town is identic for the peasants, while the Upper Town is where the rich people and the important people live. And now we are in the Upper Town. So we are in the viewing platform and from here you can get the best view of the Old Town of Tallinn. And by the way, Helsinki is there, that direction beyond the horizon. And we came from there yesterday. Wow, we will keep exploring. We are now in Danish King Garden. And to cut the long story short, this place is named like that because this is where the Danish flag was born. It is quite strange, right? Danish flag born in Tallinn, Estonia, out of all places. But that's what makes history interesting. Here is the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral and it's an Orthodox church that was built by the Russian and they built it on the highest point of Tallinn and fun fact you can see this church from all over the city so wherever you are you can see this church So this is the oldest pharmacy in Europe that is still operating it was built in 1422 and if you go inside, there is a small museum museums that shows uh, different equipments and different things that they use in the old days, including the snake and weird. This is the victory column of the Estonian War of Independence. It is located at a very large city square, but to be honest, the monument looks a little bit hideous, don't you agree? So this is the marketplace in Tallinn. We are going to check it out. It seems like they sell many fruits and veggies. Let's see if they sell food. This is such a great market with vibrant atmosphere and plenty of fresh produce. It's definitely worth a visit. From the market, don't miss the nearby Teliskivi district. 
This is the creative district of Tallinn with unique bohemian vibes and also a great place to get something to eat. This garden used to be packed and full of houses, but the houses were destroyed in 1944 due to bombing. That's why Don't Do War, because it's bad, is destroying a lot of stuff, a lot of building, and destroying humanity. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to show you how narrow the street was. So where I'm standing now, used to be houses, and this was the wall, same goes for the other side, and the street was just as narrow as this. So there is a funny story behind the field, which is behind me. Well, it is funny for me, but not fun funny for the owner. Um, so ages ago, the government tried to rebuild this area, and the government bought the properties from the land owner. So they start playing from that side, that side, and wherever. And once they reach this place, they don't have money anymore. So guess what? The owner still have to pay the yearly tax, which is a couple of thousand euro per year. The worst thing is, this is part of UNESCO, which means that the owner cannot do anything with his land, so he cannot build anything on his own land. Yet, he has to pay for the tax. So in the end, he turned this little spot into field, and now I think they are planting some wheat, but it's probably harvested already. But we heard from the locals that last year, he planted potatoes, and he ended up with a bunch of potatoes that he gave out for free. It's nice. Free potatoes last year, and this year probably free wheat. So we are going to experience the medieval banquet. Let's go! This medieval banquet you can get in all the Hansa, hands down the best restaurant in Tallinn. Although it looks like one, but this place is definitely not a tourist trap. So we are now in all the Hansa, and this is how uh, they eat in the medieval time. Even the decoration is super medieval um, and they even do research on their food and everything and uh, the waitress, they wear great costume. So we will experience this. We're gonna try this thick meat soup as an appetizer. Don't put candle inside. And we have to attack the meat soup with this weapon according to the waiters. How does the meat soup taste? Beautiful. Well, it's a bunch of meat. I just don't know what's inside. Actually, I should ask what meat is inside. How's the moose and deer? Like that. Actually, back in Finland, we tried to make reindeer meat. We hate it. But this one tastes really good. This is the toilet, and it looks super medievalish. So, a visit to Estonia is not complete without trying one of the saunas in this country. And today we're gonna try a really unique sauna place, which is actually located next to a bar. And it's a really unique concept because you can just do the sauna in the next in the room next door over there. Like over here. There's even like a hot pool and the sauna room. So that was a very interesting and cozy sauna. With six euro you can enjoy sauna for one and a half hours. And not only that, this cafe also provides some events like at this moment, piano play, piano music. So it was really great. Imagine, sauna, piano, nice people, cozy, it feels at home. It's really nice. Check it out. Last place to visit is the not so obvious St. Catherine's Passage or Katarina Kaik. This is a very lovely narrow alley, which will take you straight back to the medieval times. So, that was our trip in the capital city of Estonia, in Tallinn. And it's not just a capital city, because in this 
city in Tallinn, the old town is really well preserved. So it gives you a bit more experience, a bit more atmosphere about the medieval time. Besides that, the history of Estonia is also really interesting but yet complex and complicated. But if you are here in Tallinn, try to check out one of the free walking tour because the tour guide will tell you stories, history about Estonia in a fun way, in a lively way so that you can understand the history better. Anyway, we are going to continue with our next journey. So make sure to keep following our video, keep following our channel. And the most important thing, don't forget to subscribe!